Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick app review for 100 plus applets for the iPhone and iPod Touch. I believe there's a free version of this app if you don't want to drop the 99 cents. Uh, and I believe it has an in-app purchase, so you can just quickly get all of the more, more features. Um, but here you go. It's got a nice little startup here. It kind of looks like your home screen on your iPod. Uh, but you got set settings, support, web apps, share. Web apps just basically brings you to Apple's page for web apps. You got your weather up here. Um, you can refresh it if you want, if you don't think it's right. Uh, then you got alarm clock, altimeter, BAC calc, BMI calc, BMR calc, battery, calsafe, calculator, camera timer, cocktails, color calc, contact export, contact safe, crazy laws, currency, and date calc. I'm not going to go through all the different apps in here, but there are tons of them. Like alarm clock here, you just pop it open. And you can also have it in landscape mode like that. Uh, so I'm going to go back here. Uh, altimeter, that just basically tells you uh, how high you are from sea level. Uh, battery is pretty accurate um, at 55% and it'll tell you the little things here. Calculator, basically just, you know, like any other calculator. Make sure it works here. Yep, it works. Everything works good with the calculator. Um, there's camera timer, so you can time, like, you can open it up and, uh, uh, set how long like if you want to set your uh, iPod up and get a picture with someone and you don't want to hold it set it up Time how many seconds click start go with your friend take the picture and it'll automatically count down and take it Kind of cool cocktails has tons of different recipes and stuff for different drinks uh, There's non-alcoholic coffee and tea uh, stuff like that Then there's color calculator, which is kind of cool you can, if you see a color you like and you want to get the number uh, you can get that right there and just scroll through all kinds of different colors. Contact export, like I said, currency, exchange rates, stuff like that. Uh, date calculator, kind of cool. Uh, device info and earthquakes. If you want to check out all the different earthquakes around, it'll load them up and it will tell you where they happened, how big they were. Lots in Alaska and California and Arkansas. Arkansas, haha, uh, and stuff like that, and a lot near, you know, Japan and stuff. Uh, there is a big one. Uh, so I can go back and uh, go to the elements here. This is kind of cool. It gives you all the different elements uh, from the periodic table. You can click on them, oxygen, click on it, uh, and uh, view more information. It just brings you to a web page. Kind of cool. You can enable emojis here, uh, FS camera, Facebook. Fake alerts. Now there's tons of these. Fake alerts, fake call, fake MMS, fake missed call, fake text. Uh, so there's all different faking things. Uh, fart machine. Yeah, everyone knows what that is. Uh, so enable fart machine. Yeah, uh, you probably couldn't hear that because I have my volume down, but it's got some different farts there. Then you got flashlight, uh, which is just a flashlight. You can change the brightness here. Uh, I'm going to go back. Fortune teller, fun email, uh, which is kind of cool. You can kind of edit your emails a little bit and add different things to them, like different font sizes and colors. Uh, then there's Gmail, Google, Google Reader, Google Books, Google Cal, Google Docs, Google News, Google Talk, Google Voice, and uh, iGoogle. All those different Google apps. I don't know if those really count as apps, but uh, they're just basically web portals. Um, but they, I guess they call them apps. Then there's group. Uh, SMS, which I can't do. Group email, which I can do. Groups, image FF, uh, image FX, which is where you can add uh, different effects to your uh, uh, pictures you take or screenshots or whatever. Then you got jokes, jumpy. Uh, jumpy is just a basically like doodle jump, uh, but there's no real point to it because the um, scores don't go anywhere. So when you die, it just exits back. So it's kind of a pointless little thing to waste time as if you don't have any other apps on your iPod to let you do that, but I'm sure there's better apps on your iPod to make help you waste time. Then there's level, which you can check, your, you know, level, kind of, this is kind of a staple in every uh, one of these, like, 100 plus apps, whatever. But you can check levels, kind of cool. Uh, local search, uh, mass email, mass SMS, which I can't do, massage, which I can't do, max rep count, uh, memory, which is like a little game, you can start and it, uh, to find the things, just covers them up. You can start playing actually before it even covers them up. Uh, I missed it there, but uh, you can restart. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little game. Help you improve your memory. It gets progressively harder. 
metal detector, which I can't do. Metronome, kind of cool if you're a music person, unlike me. You can kind of change it a little bit. Uh, then there's Mirror, uh, which is basically just uses the front camera. Uh, music Timer, Notes, Paint, which is kind of cool. You can just kind of mess around. It's kind of like Glow Paint. Kind of neat. Uh, parking, wherever you parked your car, which I can't really use that. Password Generator, Person Search, Phone Tracker, Photo Safe, which basically has a little, like a little lock on your thing. I don't really remember what my password is, but whatevs. Uh, then you got Plum Bob, if you're a plumber, I guess. I don't really know what they use those for, but they use those. Protractor, always nice. I uh, wouldn't necessarily pull out my iPod in class to use a protractor, but uh, yeah, you got that. In case you're doing your homework or something, don't have a protractor, you can use that. Kind of cool. Quotes, RSS, random number, referee calls, kind of cool right there. Um, rhymes, sales price, security alarm, which is really nice. Sleep sound, uh, which is kind of like, it just gives you... Yeah, I'll show you. I'll just show you. So I'm trying to explain different. Uh, I guess you could say different noises and stuff. Uh, they don't sound that good, so I wouldn't get this app just for that. But they 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 sound decent, I guess. Soundboard spelling. You can check your spelling. Step counter, which is basically a pedometer. Storm checker strobe, which I can't do strobe. It does. It doesn't strobe on the screen. It does like your flash on your uh, iPhone. System info. THR calc. Tally counter. Task timers. Term extractor. Thesaurus, tic tac toe, tip calculator, to do, topics, uh, which is basically just hot topics and stuff like that. Not the store. Uh, then there's traffic. You can check your traffic around your house. Uh, translator, Twitter, URL expander, URL shortener, video safe, um, voice memo, walk and type, which basically just brings up a keyboard with your uh, camera, back camera going. Weather, words related, like it tells you if words are related. Um, world clocks and Yahoo. So, that, those are the apps that come with it. Lots of them to go through. Then there's settings here, uh, and you can change your weather location, change temperature, uh, like if you want it in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Change app protection levels, manage apps, which basically allows you to um, hide them. If you don't want some of them, like I can't use that one, so I can just disable it. But uh, I'm not going to do that. So, very nice app. It's got tons of things. If you are if you have an iPhone, you can probably use a lot more of these features. But this video is extremely long, so I'm going to cut it here. Very nice uh, app. Go check it out. I have a link down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.